stop relying on your feelings the way you feel. What if I told you the biggest mistake is that Christians, they, they believe the things that are going through their mind um, is them, is their fault, is their thoughts. What if I told you there's, there's demonic principalities and powers out to destroy you. They'll give you a feeling and a thought and then you just accept it. And it's killing you. We're in a fight. We're in a war. That's why we have the armor of God, a shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. And we cannot, we cannot live centrally, which means we cannot live by our feelings. Because if we do, the enemy will take us out. Feelings are not the truth. They are, they are the great followers, but terrible leaders. Feelings are not your, your reality. Emotions are not. We've been bred in our society. We've, we've been brought up and taught through social media to embrace our feelings, to say that your feelings are valid. I don't agree with that. I think feelings are absolute liars and they're cool sometimes and they're a gift of God, but they can also be used to destroy you. They can be used to tear you down. Your feelings, your feelings are not always for you. That's why we have the Bible. That's, how, that's why we have the word of God. So that when a feeling comes, like I'm not enough, God doesn't love me. I can look at that immediately, take that thought captive. That's what the Bible says. Take that thought captive. Like, not just like, come on, come with me. Captive means grab it while it's kicking and screaming and throw it into a jail cell violently. Take that thought captive violently and respond with the word of God. While, while we were still sinners, God demonstrates his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The cross demonstrates that I am enough. Nothing that I've done, but who I am. Boom. And you might have to do that a hundred times a day or two times a day, but don't stop. Do not rely on your feelings. Rely on the word of God. Rely on the truth of scripture. If you do this, it will change your life. It will. Now it's a war, it's a battle. Like I told you, our, our, our generation has been sculpted to have this micro m microwave, you know, put in the subject and then here's your five point power plan and then it'll work out. It's not always like that. Sometimes it's just warfare, 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 fight back, fight back, fight back. It's not gonna go away immediately. Keep submitting to God. By submitting to God, you resist the devil. Just keep submitting to God, keep reciting truth, and destroy your feelings with the word of God. Boom!